Today, I'm going to walk you through a standard pressure decay curve on my Sprint MD. So here on the home screen, you can see the, oh, the wheel. I'm going to go ahead and start a test. And you're going to see the system go through a standard pressure decay sequence, which is fill, stabilize, measure, and then vent. So as the needle moves through, we can see we pass this test um, through past each limits. So I go to the function bar and then the program settings, which is represented by the gear. This brings me to the main programming screen where all those variables for that, that test are set. So the first is the fill, where you set how long you need to take to fill the part. You set your target pressure for the, the test pressure you want to compare to. And then you set the, the limits for the exit of this step. What are the min max limits in this case? The isolate step is a quick step to isolate the valves from the test part. Again, the test pressure is expected to be the same as the fill. And then finally, we have a stabilization test a step for parts to be sure that we have thermal equilibrium and you know, the pressure is uniform throughout the part. Finally, there's the measure step, which is how long um, you'll test the part and measure the pressure drop over time. So each of these variables, you set the, the time step, you have your target pressure, and then you have your min max limit limits. If we go back to the home screen and start the test again, we can watch it on this screen or we could go through uh, the graphical representation where the vertical bars represent each of the step in the process. And you can see over time exactly what's, what's happening during the test. That's a basic pressure decay test. There's a lot of configuration and capabilities built into the tester today. I invite you to reach out to our, our local support channels or visit our website, www.usan.com, where we have a number of blogs and resources on the different test techniques available in our testers.